Okay. No, <laughs> you're right. It's all practical. I don't, I look, I don't look fat. I look dope. We look dope, Mr. President. Hello, hello, dope. guys. Alright. We look dope. You yeah. good? good? You good? good? Uh, yeah, I'm good. Press play. A very good day to everyone. My name is SK, aka Big Panda, and I'm here today with your one and only summer president, Mr. Melusi Zox Jamini. Hi, Mr. President. Hi, how are you? How are you doing? doing? I'm very well, thanks. I'm lovely. I like you better with your shades on. Like, you look so dope with them on, though. I need to. Hey, la I didn't say put them on. But then you look so cool with them on. <laughs> no, it's all good. It's all good. How are you doing, Damini? I'm very well. I'm very well. Lang and Lily. Yeah, just the cough here and there. <laughs> Nothing new. Guys, it's springtime. Are you allergic? I don't know what happened. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Why? I think I just didn't get a cough until now. How's that treating you, though? Um, it's all right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, life goes on. You just have to continue doing what we do. What we do best. Yeah. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. Yeah. Okay, so first and foremost... When I was Zox, I'm cutting with Lucy and Lamini. Yeah. And my goodness, I, I'm trying to understand where it came from on my side. Please explain that part first. Um, high school, high school friend. But next again, again. Um, I don't know, man. You know, in high school, everyone had a nickname. Mm -hmm. You know, most of the time it didn't mean Jack. Mm -hmm. Most of the time it did. A good friend of mine, um, he's based in Joburg now. Mm -hmm. Really started calling me that. And um, there was, I think there was, uh, there was actually a couple of other Melusi Laminis and um, I was into a lot of action-packed things. Okay. So I just needed to separate myself. Mm. So then Zox stuck. And then what happened after that, I think IDs were introduced in the country. Mm -hmm. And then I was away in varsity. And then when my moms um, went to register my name, they found out there's like a lot of Melusi Laminis mm. born in 1983 hey. um, and uh, I didn't have a second name and uh, she put that on my I ID. So now it's my official name. She actually has it on your ID? Yeah, it's on my ID now. Oh, wow. From then, so when I came back I thought that was fun though. Because <laughs> I didn't know she knew about that name. Really? So when she was asked to give them a random second name, like Zox. that's what oh, they call him Zog. so the spelling was wrong. It became socks <laughs> first. <laughs> that was a big joke. Uh -huh. um, yeah, so then it got corrected and it stopped from there. Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. And then also, like, besides the socks, like, I've been, like, no offense, this is, and as quick as this was, I'm, I've been doing, trying to get a background check on you and everything. Like, I am not, like, please just. Help me ease into it. Okay, Who is Zox? Where is Zox from? Background check a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Um, it's very hard to get a background check on me because I'm not a performer. I'm not a DJ. I'm not an artist. Exactly. I'm never on stage. Yeah. Um, but uh, I think my light bulb moment um, came to me when I realized that um, I can't rap. Okay. I don't like DJing. I hate being on stage. But I love putting together stuff. Compiler and type stuff. Events, managing, uh -huh. promoting, you know, marketing. Uh -huh. A lot of people were attracted to my vibes in varsity. Okay. A lot of people were just attracted to my vibes, but I, I just couldn't get that well, thing. That thing. That, that, that thing that, like, I, I, I'm going to go on stage and say things and then people dance. No. I just got that and understood it mm -hmm. and started appreciating more people that were good at that. Mm. So I started being a promoter. Yeah, then. So that's your background check. Yeah, Nothing then, more. Come on. Yeah, and then I came back um, to Swaziland. I launched a company in 2006. It was called Drill Entertainment. Mm -hmm. um, back then, the people that were doing things were Swazi Boy Entertainment. Yes. And then after that, there was like Big Fun Entertainment. Um, those guys had an office. Um, at Zanberger and you know um, they were getting the sponsorships and okay. then I launched my company uh, DJ Spoo helped me a lot he was a good friend um, from way back during his days at Zege Zege mm -hmm. so he got a platform to come and become himself here in the kingdom and he came and launched my company 
and I did a couple of his shows. I did a couple of Osquitos theaters, mm -hmm. and um, I started working with. I launched at House on Fire. I started working with Jigs. Mm. I did the first Facebook party. Oh, hello. Um, I've been working with Bushfire ever since and all these other small events around them. And um, yeah, man, I worked for MTN and then I worked for, and then I, I, I created a brand called Whispers, um, established a venue down at Azulini. Uh -huh. um, we did the first Sunday gigs in the kingdom. Um, we nailed it. We killed it. Clearly, and, I mean, the establishment is still there. Yeah, and um, uh, I grew, I got tired of entertainment. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I had friends, and then I got a call from um, uh, Big Game Pops, um, Lilo and Mkaya. I got uh, a job there. It was kind of exciting for me. I was, I was called in there to do marketing for them. It was something that I just... It was out of entertainment, no music, just something that took me out, um, gave me a chance to, to, to spend more time with my family. Because between Whispers and me getting a job, I actually um, worked, I went to work at Galah me for about eight months. That was the longest eight months of my life. Um, I spent so much time away from my kids. Mm -hmm. uh, there was like no sleeping at all. And I remember when I actually quit, um, Oskido had a gig at the Simunye Fun Fair, which I also did a lot of work with as well. And uh, we were supposed to be back in Joburg at like nine o'clock in the morning after like two, three days of not sleeping. And I was when I was here, uh -huh. we booked at um, Happy Valley. I just said, No, man, I'm home, man. Might as well just relax. Yeah, I know I need to get some sleep. I need to, you know, spend time with my family. Mm -hmm. You know, I've been married for a while then, but like, you know, I was just trying to find. Um, ways of making money and that was taking me away from family and from everything my family yeah and uh then the job came through and then after that yeah that after that um you know entertainment is entertainment it ends up being a calling and i just found myself back in, in, the, mix, in the mix of things no big impacts is here i was already back here really but i was not involved in entertainment for like a year the only thing that i was doing was bushfire and after a year and a half, I kind of find myself back in the in the space where things went down. Oh wow! Yeah, because like literally, okay. In a nutshell. In a, that was not a nutshell. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot. Clearly, clearly, yeah, because um, a lot. There's we a actually lot. did. We tried to do a background check on you, and we actually asked some of our viewers oh, yeah, actually yeah. to answer. Yo, guys. If you have any questions that you might want to ask him, please pull up with them. Okay, a couple of them actually are here. I'll, I'll be asking you later on. Okay. So, and then one of them was actually based on how you became the summer prison. But then clearly, oh, with yeah. such, like you're a walking CV, dude. From what I've been hearing. Yeah, but like, I, I okay. I think that's you part see... and <laughs> Yeah, and, and actually there were elections. <laughs> Let us know about There were like, nominations. People want this to know as to okay, how. This is what happens, you know. Um, fortunately for us, we started getting things done before social media. Okay. So I'll give you an example. When we started with the entertainment thing, you know, the only people that were getting sponsorships were Swazi Boy Entertainment. Mm -hmm. What I did, a lot of people around were very negative towards that. Okay. You know, entertainment and, being entertainment. Yeah, okay. dissing and all that. But I thought that was dope. Mm. I thought this guy... But it's in Vasi. They didn't go work for nobody. They started their own business after Sandra and Tarati. Mm -hmm. They did that ish. You know, they had their own offices. That was like 2006, 2007. Through like by then, everybody who's doing anything right now was being kidio. And there were guys that were running offices mm. in entertainment, throwing the biggest parties, crossover. I just started working with them, you know, mm -hmm. made friends with them. Met a lot of people traveling with them all over Southern Africa. Okay. And, you know, I learned a lot. I had also my connects, you know, that I brought to the table. Mm -hmm. But, like, you know, I think they deserve a lot of respect in what they've done, you know, to the culture of dance, to the culture of entertainment, to the culture of literally going out. They literally paved the way. If yeah, you, say, yeah. you know, and, and people like Jigs started bushfire of nothing. You know, I remember the first gig, I was stage manager there. Mm -hmm. That's like 12, 13 years ago, you know, no sponsorship, nothing. 
but look at it now. So, you know, a lot of stuff has happened mm. and I've seen it happen and I've spent a lot of time around those people and I've learned a lot and that's opened, that has opened a lot of doors for me, you know, personally. As an individual. Yeah, for my personal brand. Uh -huh. But it's quite hard for a lot of people to understand because I haven't been in the forefront. Because that's the other thing I'd like to yeah. touch on because like people were on some... Some of these things haven't been seen. Yeah, right? like all of all of these establishments, we we know you guys are doing these, but then they haven't really been seen. Yeah, as to the upcoming, and then boom, here you are. Yeah, yeah. What happened? The process of work with that. How does that make you feel? Great, because my job, like my light bulb moment, was actually figuring out that we all cannot be DJs. Okay, true. We cannot all be. MCs, we cannot all be in the rap game, you know, we cannot all be in front of the camera. Mm -hmm. There's always people behind the camera that make things pop. And I feel like those are the people who actually put the work in. Those are the people that can actually lead with reasoning mm -hmm. because they do not have the pressure of pleasing crowds. True. Yeah. So with that, that's all you say. Okay, being proud. Let's let's stick on being proud. Um I noticed that. Um, you had your your son actually was in the Luju Festival for oh, yeah. Young and Chef. How did that like? How was that moment? Uh, my son's been coming up, man. You know, my son's my son has attended all hypnotics. Mm -hmm. My son's mm -hmm. caps are autographed by the first time AK came to the country. Gave my cup, <laughs> my son a cap. Are you putting in, in him into the industry? No, or he's what? spent time with me. He's he's fourteen years now. Uh -huh. he's literally, I was twenty when I had him. Oh, wow. So we listen to the same music. When uh -huh. I go out, you know, he's just himself. But he's just a, a great chef. And with the chef thing, I never realized. I just thought, like, the moms is, like, making him ah, work. Let's do yeah. it. Uh -huh. So until I got a call that he's applied for a competition and needs to come and it's her parents' concerns. And then I was like, oh, yeah, this cooking thing is... I didn't take it serious, you know. Um, he watches Food Channel. He's always got some mean breakfast ideas for me I you mean, know that i enjoy uh -huh. obviously the mom's enjoys too because she has to keep she, she gets to kick back you know and relax so yeah and then next thing he was part of those that were and that was great uh -huh. um because of my relationship with 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 house and fire uh -huh. i just didn't want to be part of you know that oh, it was being a in the forefront of it okay. yeah it was okay, a competition okay. there was other kids involved mm -hmm. and he got an opportunity of a lifetime mm -hmm. and yeah he's opening his own restaurant in a year really yeah maybe okay i'm a foodie so please yeah. maybe on that vip list that has to address the menu and all that type of stuff yeah, yeah he's doing from one and some marks but he cooks we, we, day, need, we need to get day. his name, guys. Like, yeah. what's that? We need to get his name. Okay, so let's let's go into a little... Like, let's just jump into these waters right now. Um, yeah. Let's touch up on Swama. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, People want to know what Swama is, who Swama okay. is, the regulation system of it, yeah. and why you as president... Okay, I already got my answer, but then for the purposes of this. Absolutely. Like, why you as president? Because you were only elected president in 2016, 17, if I'm not mistaken. Ah, Jack! When? Let me tell you the story. Please. It's not even a year. Are you Let serious? Let me tell you a story. Okay. Three years ago, mm -hmm. um, when Lutfo became the president of SWAM. Yeah. Um, like, you know me, I, I really respect people who get things done. And True. I'm not afraid of approaching them and learning from them. Okay. So, I had this conversation with him. Um, what Swama is, what has Swama done? And, you know, a lot of the stuff that we talked about um, made me make a decision that I want to be part of the new generation Swamu. Okay. Because this is what happens. A lot of stuff in the kingdom is run <clears> by, <throat> I'd say, Ban Laba Sure. And, you know, there's a transition that has to happen. But if we, if the youth do not move forward, move mm. and show up and, and make themselves available, then it's going to be very hard for the youth to take over running things in mm. terms of leadership okay because believe it or not um it's quite difficult to 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 do things and uh, you know be led by a different generation right now 
Okay. The world is moving so fast. We need to be involved. Otherwise, we're not going to get as far as we have to get. So, last year, uh-huh. um, he gave me a call. He told me that he is definitely not running for second term. Oh, I'm also not going to run for second term. No, 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 no. I think it's, 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 a, it's a power thing, man. I think it's, it's, it's very important that power changes hands as frequent as possible so that mm. there's, there's different leadership styles. What's happening now is probably the vision mm-hmm. that this executive has. Okay. Swama is actually 40 years old. And people started speaking about Swama in 2019, 2018. My point exactly. Where is Swama from? Exactly. Swama was created like in 1978. By who? Uh, by Babe Maswazi Shongwe. Okay. You know Babe Maswazi Shongwe? Heard of him. Um, he's the guy that was responsible for putting together gigs at the trade fair. You remember those gigs that everyone talks about? That don't happen anymore. Mm, that was the, the guy. The ones that actually faded out. Yeah, you know, those are the guys that you know we've been in touch with and just found out what okay. cop, what what did they do better? And uh, the first summer president was um, Babe Dan Masego. He's late. Okay. Um, he was the first president of Swama. Swama was basically created to, so to, to, take, to take care of, of local art. He was a promoter. Mm. And uh, Swama was an association made for artists, all artists, gospel, you name it, everybody. Okay. Um, all these other associations are just a breakout from Swama. The gospel guys felt like, you know, they want to start doing this. Something different. Yeah, their own way. Okay. Traditional, blah, blah, blah. You know, so it was, all those it politics, was Mr. Okay. Masego. It was Mr. Mshigishi. It was Dumana Mangonyana, the first guy to sell platinum, which is not not platinum, gold. That was 25,000 records in Swaziland. So I'm shocked when I hear people saying there's no progress. Mm. People have been selling gold. Local Swazi people who are in Swaziland. Mm. Swati, I'm sorry about that. So yeah, those are the guys that were at the forefront and things happened between then until now. And then you see the way a lot of things were being run. Uh We felt like as the youth, because, you know, I think it's important to put our money where our mouth is. Please. And to act responsibly with with, with, with where we want to take things. Mm-hmm. You know? That's why I really respect people that get things done. Like, if you look around you, mm-hmm. people that get things done... Never, they know where they are. They never rent. Ever. Like... It's 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 a shocker. Like they they also make the calls. They don't get the the, the sponsorships. They don't get the gigs, the nomzamos, the 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 sands, the bologas. They've also got through the same processes with everyone else, but you have never heard them not even once pick up a hand to complain about who's doing what, who's doing what, who's okay. supposed to be doing what, who's not. To just focus on the boy. Okay, with that, yeah. let me pose a question. Does that literally? Make you see as to are we as the youth, right? Yeah. Because our like different generations. Yeah. Are we as the youth that ignorant, or we literally feel like the information isn't being exposed to us? I think it's not being ignorant. It's just being lazy to find read. these out. Yeah. Okay. Because like. All this information that I know, no one told me about it. Where'd you get it from? Um, Jigs never gave me a call. I went to him. <laughs> Shadow never gave me a call. I went to him. Uh-huh. Uh, Mr. Masazi called, never gave me a call. I went you to went him. You went to him. You know, I went to, I, I, f- I wanted to find out. Uh-huh. Would you blame social media for this generation? Not really, man. Social media, there's many positives with social media. Okay. It's just like, you know, like people just do things like, um, People just need to get things done. Okay. It's not a hard thing to do. Look at what you guys are doing, you know? Mm-hmm. You never started waiting for cameras from it's anywhere. Like that that yeah, you yeah. never started, you know, you just say, hey, you know what, let's just get this done. I want to be doing interviews. I want to collect interviews. You get things done. Mm-hmm. You know, I've never heard um, anyone from Words Up. Really, nigga? It's pointing fingers screaming about not getting paid for content, you know, and stuff like that. Never. But they're getting things done, which is mm-hmm. like what I think the youth should just start, you know, 
do that often. That's where we should be happy often. to progress. Yeah, yeah, you know, because everyone has got a part to play. Okay. Yeah, everyone has got a part. Everyone has got an equal opportunity. Mm-hmm. We just need to lace it. Okay. Yeah. No problem. Let's let's now get into these con- like these questions that were being posted up on social media. I'd like for everyone to actually be anonymous for their own That's reasons. Fine. That's so right. um, if you 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 go through with them, um, so then after that, I'd actually like for you to comment on a couple of other things. Yeah. So first and foremost, um, one was asking on the swama regulation. Okay, everything is based on the swama. Actually, mm. like That's fine. I That's don't know okay. why, but they felt it like it helps. Yeah. yeah. So you're comfortable. Let's I'm get the it. president of Swama. Let's get it on. If I don't things. answer Swama questions, what type of Who are you? <laughs> am I going to answer? <laughs> I mean, it's yeah. fine. Okay, yeah. so um, the Swama regulation process, right? Yeah. The registration process. Yeah. What are the benefits of being under the association? Okay, here's the plan for us. Now, Previously, over the past 40 years, joining Swama, you had to pay, you had to go to an office, buy a form, pay 200 bucks and get to be part of Swama. Aye. But now we questioned ourselves uh-huh. these things before uh. we even ran for Swama. And the first decision we made was was to scrape off registration fees. Okay. So for the first time in 40 years, joining Swama was just simply by sending an SMS. So this is what we want to find out. Yeah? Okay. We want to find out who are you? Mm. What do you do? Okay. Where are you and how old are you? Okay. How so the registration that? process was simple. Melusi Zamini, promoter, Ezulini, 7 May 1983. Mm-hmm. That gives us data. We haven't made any promises yet. At no point did I say, vote for Swama and because I'm going to get you business. paid. Okay. Because mm-hmm. at Swama, we don't get subvention. No one is paying us anything. I said Yeah. We make it work ourselves. Oh. That's why it's very sensitive that we we, we, we become one team. Uh-huh. Because we are going to the boardrooms and we're getting asked questions like, ah, did you see who posted what? Did you see what that guy did? And you guys have to and answer now to us, that. We need to, you know, we need to explain that, mm-hmm. you know, because we need the guap from them. You can't bite the hand that feeds you. Nah, man. Like, we need to, you've never heard a lawyer saying crap stuff about what the law society does. <laughs> that's never that's the end of a career, actually. No, but like artists are like on steroids with dissing the industry. That's supposed Why do you to think that them. is? It's a mentality, you know. Um, it's a mentality of entitlement. It's a mentality of expectation. It's, an, 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 it's a mentality of not wanting to earn based on your work of you need to be patient okay you know there's people like Bo Sakile yeah he can say anything he wants to say because he went out and did the thing so he knows like his challenges are different from everyone else mm-hmm. who's there on their phone you know uh-huh. you know just watch trying for sponsors you know, we are not, and everything we're not we're not a booking agency we, okay. we, we're not here to make sure that um People start getting gigs. It's mm. not rocket science. We've got eight promoters in the kingdom that can afford to book mm. and pay you good money. We've got 180 DJs, but 20 DJs that deserve to be paid a minimum of 8K because they do this. Yeah, yeah, those are standards, of, those are local standards. You know, let's not get overexcited and start thinking how much black coffee earns. No, 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 no with no comparison oh, whatsoever. Yeah, I'm just getting a gig. Like, like you'd be shocked at how much these guys that live in Joburg get paid for gigs, just that they get more than one gig, and then they able oh, to put it back okay, the crop. Okay. You know. Uh huh. And so that's what we're trying to. The first step, like for Swama, we need to find ourselves. We need to know who's doing what. Like, I can't be the president of Swama, and there's a kid who is dope with this poetry thing mm-hmm. in the middle of Louvre, mm. you know? And yeah. I don't know. If I don't know I, he exists, then my decisions are going to be ill-informed. Uh-huh. But then wait, doesn't, as a Swami president and yeah. you having like your people under you, don't, aren't you guys supposed to No one is under me. 
No one. No, I'm just, I'm just. Don't you have a team you work with? They're not under me. Okay, they with you. They with me. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for correcting me on that one. Yeah. So now your team being with you. Mm. From my understanding and from what I've been hearing and what I've actually learned. Yeah. Um, you guys are supposed to have scouts. Yeah. Scout yeah. talents. Scout this talent out, which means you guys should know all about what's happening around the country yeah. and these come up kids and everything. Yeah. Yeah, sure, we've got the people in the country like your Smokey and your Eagles, yeah. your Amaris, mm-hmm. sure. But who will actually get to know about the others in the low field, in the peripherals? Labanga na yo access to would say, okay, fine. You see, what what we want to achieve is mm-hmm. to create a sustainable industry. Okay. We want to create an industry that's going to make sure that the people make money of what their talents are about. Okay. We need to create an industry. So we are not going to, we're not a record label. We're not no. going to scout for talent and then take that talent and, you know, there's like 400 people registered under us, man. Mm-hmm. You know? We need to regulate the, the, the those. We need to regulate the industry. Okay. That's this industry is desperate for regulation, from international artists, um, international comedians, um, poets, DJs. You know, um, at some point, there needs to be a system that says, um, Zox, you cannot get a booking from a corporate yet. You're not ready. Okay. Huge you question mark on that, yeah. No, it's, it's, it's the process. I mean, like, it's people are doing things that are killing the industry. Such as? I'll give you an example. I'm going to book a DJ mm. for a function at work. Yeah? Okay. I probably want the cheapest DJ, right? Obviously. Then I get this guy... Um, probably doesn't have a sound system. Mm-hmm. It's probably having hasn't uh, DJed for a crowd, my type of crowd, mm-hmm. like mature crowd, people's parents. You know, his playlist is not speaking to this clientele. This guy is going to have a horrible set. Set. Mm. He's going to come late because it doesn't have a sound system. It doesn't. You know, he, he's not used to. A simple gig. You can put someone on the bushfire stage and this person is going to have such a miserable time on stage. Everyone is going to be like... Experience. Ah, chance. The music industry is whack in Swaziland. They're not going to say, ah, Zox is is not doing it. So it's very important to make sure that when we have a platform, there are those that have been on other platforms that know how to present Okay. A simple thing like presenting. When you present at a you need to know your at, at, at a at a at a high school, mm. it's different from presenting at a Luju festival. True. The 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 way you speak to them, the way you dress up, you know, the way you present yourself in meetings, mm-hmm. the things that you say on your social media, it's a different ball game altogether. So True. we're not all at that level. True. So we need to regulate that such that you know because right now. The, we the industry it is, is at a, a point where we need to hit it, not test. Mm. So if we create stars, there's going to be ripple effects. True. But right now we cannot be running. Like, cannot if we create stars, out. then the stars are going to have DJing schools. But it can't be some are going to pick people from the streets and teaching them how to DJ mm. when there's artists that deserve to be, you know pushed so that they with what they'll make will start creating the schools will start creating you know the film schools and stuff like that you know um there's a lot of people with 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 cameras iphones kids Mm -hmm. that think they can shoot something like this thank you for that word think thank you very much yes so when they do it and post online if there's this guy who's a record label exec, he's looking for dope stuff online and he Googles or searches on YouTube and he finds this whack thing. It destroys everyone else. He's, he's not going gonna, to question the whole country. Yeah, he's it's not going to keep on, yeah, he's not gonna keep on looking. Okay. But if he searches and he finds this dope guys that are doing something out of nothing, mm-hmm. you know, he will want to invest. 
people want to throw his money. Okay, with that being said, yeah, we we have seen like we being the public, yeah, we've seen this going on. We we actually, I've, I'm pretty sure you've actually seen it as well. Yeah, like um having I... maybe yeah you you may you may. <laughs> A little break, wanna... little break, little break. Yeah, okay, no, hold on. Just... Now we'll we'll slip it off. Don't worry. Okay, cool. Yeah, we'll slip it out. So, like, I'm pretty sure you've seen this as well. How we actually hype someone up. Now, the person might have maybe your stage presence. Might yeah. actually have your dress up code is actually quite fresh. Yeah. But now we are fighting talent. Yeah. What would you say in hyping someone up, just because they are someone? Like you know the status quo and everything. Yeah. I mean, maybe the who's who's of the country. Yeah. Um, what would you say towards us as the public hyping someone up? Yet, at the backdrop of that, we on some. Hey, well, the crowd has the final say because the crowd are the ones that are supposed to be buying the music, buying the tickets to the shows. Mm-hmm. Buying data to watch this, mm. so they have a say. They have all the strength. So now it becomes our responsibility, okay, as an association, mm-hmm. to see. Hey, out of respect for the public, mm. maybe um, we need to harness the way Zox speaks to people first before we throw him in the deep end. Okay, let's present this opportunity to someone who's more eloquent. That mm-hmm. is going to get us more people mm-hmm. out there instead of someone that's going to disappoint and get people, you know, talking down upon the arts mm-hmm. industry and so on and so forth. Because the way we, be, we we treat ourselves, the things that we say, the way that we dress, yeah, you know, the public is watching, and sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad, mm. but we're at a stage where. You just need to nail it. Okay. Dirty, dirty. Dirty, dirty. Yeah. Okay. Then there's not another question up on the relationship between Swama yeah. and other arts-related organizations, such as your Francophone, your Arts Week, mm. and the others, if I may okay. say. Um, like I said, you know, um, by the time you have conversations with your EUs, with your Francophones, you know, those are diplomatic cop. Okay. You know, you need to respect, you need to, when you go into a meeting with these guys, you need to make sure that the numbers are solid. Okay. You know, when you're going to have a meeting with the ambassador of the EU. You don't just go in there as no one. Yeah, you need to have a story that you, you can back it up. Mm. You know, not, hi, my name is Melusi, I'm the president of Swama. She's going to start dropping questions like, um, how many poets do you have um, registered? Under you need to be able to answer all of that. Um, where are they? What do they need? Mm. You know, um, how can I help? Because next thing, I'm going to have this opportunity to to create a real sustainable business for an artist, and I'm going to blow it because I don't know. Mm. So I think it's, it's 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 extremely important to understand that you know for Swama, um, for us. I think the first step was just first and foremost as the youth taking ownership. Okay. That was a big deal because in the history of Swama, Mm. I'm the first guy that's been president that's below 40 or 45. Hello. So that's a big step to say that, you know what? There's now progress. Youth is taking ownership of what's happening. Mm. Uh, After me, I'm expecting like... A Sakile, uh, you know, someone who's young, um, a Velefini, I mean, someone who's involved mm-hmm. in, 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 in what art means, you know? Uh-huh. So uh, I think the first step is that, we just find ourselves, understand who we are, where we at, mm-hmm. what we need. I mean, in the history of lawmaking, mm-hmm. the copyright law bill was enacted during our time. Okay. And Funny that enough, that was actually my next question. Yeah, that, please proceed. That means that this law is nine was 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 nine a hundred years old. Mm. But because it's not something that is in your face, it's on stage. A lot of person, a lot of people are not going to pick it up. But for the guys that are coming after us, mm-hmm. they're not going to be able to 
have to go through their music playing on radio and on TV for years and not getting anything. Mm. So those are the people that will realize what we did. What what do you, what do you say towards that? Because um, someone actually touched on something really really sensitive here upon yeah. royalties for the artists in Swaziland and how apparently they're not being paid for. No. Okay. This is what's happening. Please. In March this year, the corporate bill got, got enacted. Yes. By His Majesty. Mm. It hasn't been gazetted yet. Oh, okay. But now it's a law. And it has to be a process. Now it has to happen. You know, people can't just use your material here and not pay you. Now people are going to get royalties. Mm -hmm. You see? Now, what is heartbreaking, not disappointing. Okay. Once this law was actually passed and made available at Webster's, I kept on checking there. You know, for about only four people have made an effort to go and get the book and read the bill, what the bill means. Aye. Now I'm speaking about artists that have are making music every day. Uh. I'm speaking about people that are creating content every day. The same day. artists that come to you and complain. I'm speaking about everyone. Nobody knows what the copyright bill says, but it's public information. Uh. That's heartbreaking. Because people, that means people do not want to read. People do not want to empower themselves with the information to be able to get ahead. Okay. You know, what's supposed to happen now, it's all in the bill, man. It's not rocket science and private information. Mm -hmm. The next Minister of Commerce and Trade. You see now, strategically, we're, we're, we're moving out of the Ministry of Arts. Mm. Now we're moving into Ministry of Commerce and Trade. Because now, you know, the arts industry... You know, now the squap involved mm -hmm. has to gazette this. So he has to put in an instrument together that's going to create the copyrights society, um, the office of the registry. If they play local music, they must have a license. To so that so. if they play my song. Your guap is in your bank already. Exactly. So a lot of young people are just flying over those things and not reading. And if you don't read, I mean, if you don't read... What is it you're worth? That you have no say in society. You, 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 if you don't have intellectual capacity to engage in certain conversations, mm -hmm. then you don't exist. True. You're like, not there. So... The, because the people that right actually now, have the information... Mm, We'll tell they you what you're wrong. Be, yeah, they won't even respond to you. You know how tiring is it to respond to someone who's just speaking a whole lot of nothing? <laughs> you don't even need to be corrected if the information that you need to have is public information. Mm -hmm. We can't even correct you now because, like, you're taking us back. You know, we need to read. We need to enjoy reading. We need to learn more mm -hmm. about what's happening. People have got Google now, man. People have got internet. It's so easy to get information right now. But yeah, so that's the process. So mm -hmm. we are hoping, we are praying that, you know, that were, that's why it was so important for young people to vote, like artists to actually go and vote. Because now we need, the next Minister of Commerce needs to meet young people mm. that will be able to lobby and motivate the fact that a gazette has to be, you know, processed for this law to start being active. Okay. If the law took a hundred years to get enacted, imagine how much the more. youth is not empowered. Mm -hmm. It can easily take five years, and people still be yapping, 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 without it being processed through. Without knowing what's supposed to be happening, okay. not even it being processed. The good thing, you know, is mm. that people need to know what's supposed to happen. That way it's easier. But if you don't even know what's supposed to happen, then there's a problem. going to fly over you like that. Yeah. And besides, people don't really necessarily take... <laughs> Excuse yeah. me. Uh, What's happening? Uh-huh. Might as well go inside. Who? Okay, fine. Um, 
<laughs> so we were talking about the copyright spill, right? Yeah, yeah. And that we've already spoke with the if we don't as the part, I mean, if we don't as the youth take over, then there's going to be a problem. Yeah, yeah. So but we need to just read. Why are you handing over the power though? Why aren't you running for second term? <clears throat> I feel like it's important not to be, you see, we're the youth now. We do things differently. Okay. Um, it's important not to be those people, those guys that hold on to power. Enemy of, of progress? Yeah. You don't want that to happen. Yeah. You need to let it go. Yeah. Okay, then there is a hey, these people. Um, they. <sighs> I'm trying. I'm trying to process this in the most appropriate way as possible. Yeah. Um, who selected the board, and is the board one that selects entries, and who approves of the entries? Okay, I guess that was we're speaking about the MTN Swamas. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the MTN Swama was guys. I think it's you know. First and foremost, shout out to MTN, uh -huh. you know, for investing in 100% content. Uh -huh. content. Shout out to the previous one, Exact Baba Luto, mm -hmm. who jacked that from MTN, mm. you know, last year. We're on our second season now. Um, the board is actually the judges. Okay. Is, is that the question? Because there's no board, there's like judges. Because mm -hmm. those are the guys that literally have to go through. The list. The list, you know, when there's like a hundred hip hop entries, they have to take it down to like five, six, seven, you know. Uh -huh. That's a lot of work. So there's judges um who are put together by um the Swama executive, mm. the MTN uh, mm -hmm. office. And uh, uh these judges are made up of people Unfortunately, I cannot drop names. Because that's the thing that they want, actually. <laughs> like, <laughs> from what I'm understanding from this question, but, they but are... Me, these people are people that are literally hands-on with the industry right now. they there. Like, if I want to know um, who just shot a music video, mm -hmm. I call one of the judges is going to let me know. If I want to know um, what song is really killing it in the South African radio space. Mm -hmm. One of the judges. If I want to know um, which artist has gotten the most PR, mm. I call one of the judges. This is outside them being a judge. This is before they were actually... Them as individuals. Yeah. Okay. You know? So these are people that, you know, I have 100% confidence in. Mm hmm and um, those are people that are active right now in the space. Like, you would be shocked if you knew who they are. Because you know who they are. Well, we'd like to know. <laughs> you know we'd what like I'm saying? <laughs> so, we'd unfortunately, like know. you know, contractual obligations, you're not supposed to know. You know, okay. next thing you're going to start sliding those envelopes oh, there. Oh, Sliding in the DM, you know, we don't want to confuse. Um, and then what happens with, with, with the entries, guys, you know, um, MTN Swammers, we have to make sure that the integrity is intact. Otherwise, we're not going to get sponsorships going forward. Okay. Um, it's very important uh, to get an audit firm. Okay. It's going to verify things. Mm. You know, last year we worked with KPMG. Um, this year we're in talks with... KPMG and another one that uh, I can't mention yet. Uh -huh. But in a week's time, we'll be able to announce like who who who's the official audit. Oh. So what happens is that those are the guys that go in there. Auditors are not musicians. They're not in the music industry. Mm -hmm. What they do, they audit. Mm. If you say um, Zox won based on these criteria mm -hmm. and the numbers of votes... You should be able to back it up, otherwise the audience as to why him get you, yeah, mm -hmm. you know. Um, and it's not that it's small. If you've got any relation with anyone, you know, the best thing is just recuse yourself when it's time to time to discuss that artist. Okay. If Velafin is my brother and Velafin is a nominee for filmmaker of the year, I have to recuse myself. It speaks okay. to integrity more than anything because everyone knows Velafin is my brother. So Aslan is tight, man. You know, very, very, we know these things. You know, yeah. we know that you hang out with and nepotism who, is real. Yeah, and and we're trying to be the new generation that doesn't get known for things like that. You okay, know? I think that's very important. 
So yeah, man. Um, judges take care of all that. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm just the president. Uh, they tell me. <laughs> Shout out to the judges, by the way. We'll be scouting. <laughs> yeah, and um, yeah, and um, hopefully that's also gonna a process that's just conti- going to continue to grow. Mm-hmm. Um, if the people eventually feel like they want to know who they are, if they want the process to be public, I mean, we'll find out. It's say so. Raise up your hand and say, hey, you know what, guys? I think 2019, this is how we should do things. You're heard. It's going to help you, you know, get things done. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so the last Next. question. Yeah. Um. Okay, not not the last from the list. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what was... Oh, my goodness. What was up with the artists retracting their nominations and the issues with categorization? Okay, I think that happened once this year. <clears throat> it was a case of Miss Trophy feeling that um, she doesn't do R&B, but she does another genre. Okay. Yeah. And but- you can correct me if I'm wrong. I'll speak about the <laughs> artist. I'm speaking about someone who retracted based on feeling that the, the category is not right. Uh-huh. Um, then, um, excuse me. The thing is, I've heard the story once too many times, and yeah. I and I, you are the president, no, no. Yeah. Doctor Shaysh's story. Okay, we can go to that. <laughs> Let's just tap on that. Let's just tap on that. So he didn't belong belong to best comedy. No, he did. But then why did he then decide to pull back? This is what happens. Thing, this is what happens. Let, let me let me explain hey, to you something. Please. Let, this is the main problem with our young people. Uh-huh. You know, they get caught in the hype. And they was cool man, eh? they, yeah. So this is what happens. For you to get nominated, mm. you get a call. Mm-hmm. Hey, sir, you're nominated for awards. Mm. Are you on or are you off? Obviously, I'm be hyped up. I'm on. Yeah. Okay. We're announcing nominees on the 30th of June. Mm. For the next 14 days, if there's a problem, Give us a shot. We'll change. That's when Miss Trophy was like, hey. By the way. I don't do R&B. Uh-huh. Well, the judges thought she did R&B. Okay. I personally thought she does R&B. Mm. But we had to respect her opinion. Okay. It is her Day one, day all. two, day three, day four, day 14. No one is coming through to say, hey, guys, I don't want to be part of this. Ne? 30 days later, someone wakes up. Hey, I think I'm, I'm, I have to, you know... Um, I'm out. Uh-huh. Bro. How? <laughs> We've got systems in place. We report to corporate brands. We've got F&B. Uh-huh. We're in boardrooms. Once we say applications close on the 31st of December, mm. when you apply for a job, right? Mm-hmm. If they say applications close on the 31st of December, do you pop up on the 5th and say, um, I think this is my job? For what good reason? I need that money. No, nah, but you already, you're like playing games. Uh. You know, um, it's 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 written down. It's not private information. It's like if you need anything, if you you if you have any objection, mm. you have fourteen days to put up your hand. Okay. Don't wait for thirty days. There's plans. There's our words. After this is done, something else happens. Be strategic. Exactly. You know. So let's try to be a little bit more professional. I mean, it's 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 one thing, you know. To go with the hype on social media, go with the hype. Everyone is like, you know, Zox, you're the greatest. You mm. know, I've been there. You know, you just have to learn through these things. The hardest way to teach a person a lesson, especially an artist who thinks it's great, mm-hmm. give him a stack of CDs, like 100 of them. Tell him to go and sell those CDs. If he comes back with none of those CDs mm. and cash, mm. then... It's okay. But if he comes back with some of those CDs or even most of them, he'll come back with a lesson. Because he probably posted the other day and said, my album is out. And everyone was like, retweet. Everyone was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And to put that guap where it matters the most. Mm-hmm. Trust me, you're not going to be one of them. Because now they know how you think. Just make sure. Guys, the guap, first things first. The guap must make, you know, must must try and like 
If, That's if a I'm going to sell 8,000 tickets for Hypnotic, mm. you know? Now, the guap is speaking, not the likes and the retweets. That's just about hype on social media. If I want to get 20 retweets, I could say certain things, you know? And you will be tweeted. And I will be retweeted. You know, mm. it doesn't mean, I mean that. Preach. Yeah. Uh. So we need to be careful of that. And we need to respect ourselves, man. We need to respect our brands. You know, we need to acknowledge the fact that people are watching. Mm. Our parents are watching. Corporate sponsors are watching. Consumers, people who spend money on arts locally are watching. Mm. So, you know, if they get to watch all of this negative stuff, all of this egocentric, um, emotional outburst, they're not going to spend on us. Why why would move. why would you actually trust someone with like um if I may say mm. a repulsive mentality? Yeah. Would you? Because now that's that's you, you know, and your brand and you when are yourself you know, on the exactly. forefront. Yeah, true. So it's very important to understand that it's a business at the end of the day mm-hmm. that we're running. If you treat yourself as a business, you instantly re- realize that you're a product. Okay. So you have to be cognizant of everything that you do, everything. Mm-hmm. You know, you have to respect people. You know, people are going to fail. People are still going to fail. True. And you need to understand that that person that voted for you, that spent cash on you, mm-hmm. is going to be heartbroken. You don't want to be breaking the hearts of fans. Fans speak with their cash. Tomorrow you're going to have a show and no one's going to show up. And you're going to think because... people are, are sabotaging you because sponsorships don't want to come. Not nah, Jack. There's fans that are supposed to be putting the guap in your cash, you mm. take them for granted. You think you can just make passive decisions like that. You can't work like that. We need to grow up and we need to man up and we need to re- respect. Because another thing, our industry is young. Mm. Imagine what that did to the comedy industry. Now, that's the fastest growing industry in Africa. And a comedian in Swaziland said that, um, okay, first thing, first thing he said, um, why are there three people? Um, there's more comedians than that. Okay, here's the thing. Mm. Because Pella, there were seven of them. Probably the others declined when they had the chance to decline. Mm-hmm. And you didn't. You understand? Mm-hmm. If everybody declined, we're not going to have that category in the first place. But you accepted a nominee. The others and declined. only three of you guys accepted. The others were not contacted. Okay. We all know the comedians we have in the kingdom. They See have their them. reasons to decline. Hey, I'm not ready this year. Hey, I don't think I don't have enough information. Hey, I don't think I've had enough gigs. Hey, I, I'm not ready for that type of competition. Okay. You know? So it's just that. We just need to just realize that we need to, you know, grow up and respect fans and respect processes. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. It gets a bit tricky. Okay, now touching on the industry, what would you say to the youth towards them growing in the industry? Especially the local talent and the new talent that's actually coming up. Coming in, yeah. You know, because we've seen them, I mean, so many of these guys have offloaded or have been producing some yeah, of their things. Yeah. You've heard some of them, I'm yeah. pretty sure. Yeah. But then now, what would you say towards them as to, okay, guys, we are looking at you in as much as Maybe you feel like you're popping up now in a yeah, month. Yeah. Don't look at it as if you're not being seen. But what no. would you say to us? I say, okay, um, first of all, and I acknowledge there's so much talent that's coming up. It's amazing. Mm-hmm. It's just freaking amazing. It's like unbelievable. Um, I've been privileged to sit on charging plan- p- panels for Baby Friday Night Live and um, The Firefly. The best the stage content is actually, yeah. Dude is amazing, you know? But we cannot have everyone on the same stage. We cannot have For everyone reason. at the same time. Okay. You understand? Um, right now, probably it's going to be me. Mm. That doesn't mean um, uh, someone else should start throwing toys out of the court, you know? Okay. Just keep on doing what you do. Because trust me, if you do what you do best, which is if you're a musician, just keep on churning out those songs. It'll come around. I mean, Sanzi so has been doing this thing, man, and people just think it's, it just it's happened. Just now. And he actually released yeah. one more album, if I'm not mistaken. Um, a, a single. A single it was a single. Stuff. Yeah, then a why single. did they say it's a whole album, 
Well, um, <clears throat> I have a so huge question I, I, about I, that. I, I, I think it's, it's 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 extremely important to just understand that there's always a time for everybody. You know, it's like awards. Mm-hmm. Not everyone is going to be nominated 2018. True. But that that doesn't mean you're not going to be nominated next year. Don't pull a baby. It's like bush fires. Like <laughs> F and B Smooth Fest. It's like Standard Bank Luju. Not everyone is going to get a chance to perform this year. Okay. But that doesn't mean that. Next year, you're not going to get a, 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 a chance to perform. Mm. But now, when you start dissing... That's a problem. Now, who wants to work with... A, we want to work with musicians. Mm. People that sign checks want to work with artists. People that are good in music, not in social media rants. Okay. Yeah, so it's very important to respect that, you know. Because the people that are signing the checks are not... Are not around here. No, no. And they can see what you're doing on Facebook, but they're not liking your post. It's just that we are, you know, the executive. And when we get to the boardrooms, then we get to have to explain all these questions. Now we have to casa and we have to defend certain people who are saying certain things, you know. Because mm-hmm. when we go there, we try and ask for cash to pay them, uh-huh. not us. Uh-huh. Always remember that. You see, Zox is the president, but he's not an artist. He's not a rapper. He's not a poet. But he's taking care. He's never going to make money off any of those. Any of those things. Uh-huh. So there's no competition. Okay. Yeah. Any other comments before we actually wrap it up? Yeah, just um, just shout out to you guys for doing this, and uh, you know, shout out to everyone that's working hard in the kingdom, and uh, you know, the the strides have been amazing. You know, um, just yesterday. Uh, on SABC3 mm-hmm. there was interviewing an Omza. this is just an example Omza, I actually and, trust that. And, and, and Amanda no. you know three years ago this was impossible Aye. three years ago you would not have made it on any SABC channel anyway uh-huh. but because of that breakthrough song Yatiki mm. it gave us a lot of respect Okay. Because that was the biggest record. As a nation. Ever. Yeah, you know, because it's not about, trust me, so it's too small. It's never about <laughs> One Zorks. Person. It's never, never about um, Velefini. It's about the industry right now. That's what we're trying to do. Mm-hmm. Then the following generations are going to milk it dry. Next. So let's just keep on doing, you know, let's just keep on doing all the positive things. And you know what, guys, if there's anything that's puzzling you, that's hurting you, that's you think it's not going right. I mean, I'm just a WhatsApp away. 268. Got to leave even. Or sh- give me a shout on, on Facebook. Give me an inbox. Let's mm. have lunch to speak about these things. Because if I don't know, then I don't know, man. You know, and, and we can't be, we're not, we're not um, traditional healers here, man. We don't pengula <laughs> things, man. Come on. <laughs> we need to be told. If there's something that is not going right, mm. ask me the question. Demand an answer. Mm. If I know, I'm going to explain. If there's a reason, I'm definitely going to tell you why this is happening now. Uh-huh. But if there isn't, at least I'm going to learn something new that, oh, snap, people are not happy about the way I wear my socks. Uh-huh. They okay. don't like that socks. Uh-huh. So if six people tell me the same things, it means that I need to flush those red socks immediately. <laughs> but if I don't thing. know, come on, I'm going to keep on wearing those socks all Stay the time because I don't okay. know guys yeah. you know so just like let's just try and be as open as possible let's try and respect each other let's try and push and just work hard towards realizing all our dreams it's only a matter of time now mm-hmm. the industry it's at a breaking point I think I think we're getting through to that barrier ne? yeah it's that, that glass is slowly chipping away so if we just together ah. not against each other no 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 there's no time for that now. The guap is coming for us to fight. There's no guap to fight about now. People are fighting and they're broke. <laughs> what are you fighting about, man? Everybody's hungry. We need to be together <laughs> and then try and make the guap. Then the fights can come later, you know. Just when I was something construction companies construction companies costa costa meter plus 50 meter 100 meter one sponsorship 700,000 
Yep, 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 yep. No one is even making money out of that. So let's just try and build. Uh -huh. Make sure we get more sponsorships. Uh -huh. Make sure we get more people involved. Stop talking, start doing. If you feel like the album is dope, buy it, buy it for your sister, buy it for your cousin. Uh -huh. Buy five copies, man, you know. Don't listen to them, but someone is going to get paid, you know. Um... Go out there, vote, take part. If Swama calls an AGM for you guys to vote, mm -hmm. show up. Stop being in the limelight. Nah, stop being at the back there, not doing anything, but like on your phone. Like just show up, contribute. And we, we need more ladies in entertainment <laughs> going forward. I, 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 I had to pause for that one. Yeah. Okay, by the way, how can we contact Swama? Someone is asking. Um, okay, right now it's the Facebook page. Uh -huh. um, you can inbox the Facebook page. Our response rate is excellent. There's mm -hmm. Swama and MTN Swama. Fortunately, it's being run by the same person, okay. the same team. And, and then if you know any of us, man, give us a shout. If you have our numbers, talk to any of us. Lindelwa, uh, Tizalami, Chidi, Penny, Tias. Mm -hmm. You know, um, eh, my God, who am I forgetting? Yeah, you know, um, Tabile. Mm. Um, it's a great team of professionals, a great team of people that have done a lot for the industry. It's amazing the stories that, you know, they've gone through um, on their own. And um, please just, we need all the support we can get right now. And, you know, it's just about time that we take this industry to better heights. Yeah. Guys, for me and the great team from where it is, I think we've actually heard everything and we hope all of your answers have been, I mean, your, all of your questions from us and oh yeah, shout out to Solani's lounge, yeah. by the way. I almost forgot that. It's a wrap. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes. Anything, Mr. Director? Thank you. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. No, this one's going to be your wrap.